Hello everybody and welcome to new P4A screencast. Today we want to tell you about uh, how we're going to install P4A on our web servers. Um, typically we have two situations. The first one is when we want to take P4A and install, and install it within the document root of our web server. The second one is when we want to take P4A and put it outside the document root of our web server. During this screencast I want to talk you about uh, the first situation which is the most simple I know but uh, the it's also the most typical one. So what we need to do is to browse the um, P4A website, click on the download link, we're going to choose the latest RC available for P4A3. Um, in the meanwhile we can start a terminal and uh, we need to step in the document root of our web server and uh, this is my local machine and uh, I got uh, Apache installed and my mm, document root is var www so what we need to do now is to unzip the uh, p3 archive And that's done. Uh, so now, believe it or not, um, P4A is installed. We have to do no configurations, no setup procedures, and uh, nothing more. We can try to browse uh, this newly created directory. Here we are. This is the welcome screen for P4A3. We have no applications now, so uh, we can't. Uh, try something better anyway uh, we'll find uh, in um, later in this screencast that we have uh, a test application bundled with the p3 package but uh, what uh, you need to know now is that uh, p3 is running and no setup is needed because p3 is going to automatically detect uh, every everything that it will need to run your applications so now we can try uh, to set up the first application that's uh, coming with uh, the p3 package as we can see uh, the p3 directory contains a lot of things documentation icons the core the themes uh, now we're stepping in the applications directory to find that we have a products catalog sample So, um, it has a database dump here, so we can imagine that this application uh, will need the database and also a readme file. And in the readme we can find the, the instructions to create the database. Anyway, we can try to, uh, to browse the application and to see what will happen. Okay, the system is telling us that there are some problems with the installation. Uh, we can see that the uploads directory needs to be writable. This is the directory. Anyway, if we just list our application directory, we can find the uploads directory here. So we do not need to create it, but we just uh, can change its privileges and make it writable to the word and um, the, um, the checks are passed now so we can step to the next uh, problem and this is a database connection error obviously because we have no database set up now but we can just try to do it uh, this is the database that we need so we can create it create and next we are going to import the dump okay done refresh in our browsers we need to log into the application and we see that it's working, we have some sample data here um, 
we can try some masks anyway it's fully working and fully configured but what you can see now is that we had um, to do no configuration at all because the only ones is the, were the permission problems of the database that anyway are not tied to P4A configuration which is automatically detected and this is the most important thing of the screencast so this is all mm, for now thank you for watching and, and see you soon on P4A TV